My first guest tonight is the United States Senator who has been dogging Donald Trump for months now on Twitter. Please welcome Senator Elizabeth Warren. You're always a bit of a firebrand, and I know you've got a lot of opinions about Donald Trump. Um, did you watch uh, the convention this week? Yes. Okay. Uh, give me an overall impression of uh, the message of the Republicans this week. Um, I thought it was the nastiest, most divisive convention that we've seen in half a century. And well, that... do you think that that's their fault, or whether they are expressing a genuine anger out in there in the world? So because look, it's, it's, you know, it's easy to say, like, oh, there are people being angry, and I noticed that, too, but aren't people angry? Isn't that why Bernie did so well? It, look, people are angry, and people have good reasons to be mm -hmm. angry. Incomes are flat, uh, expenses are up, young people can't make it through college without getting crushed by debt, seniors can't stretch a Social Security check to cover food and rent. There are a lot of reasons to be angry, but let's be really, really clear. Donald Trump does not have the answers. Well, he says, let's talk about the speech. Yeah, let's, talk about let's talk about the speech tonight. Okay, what, where are not the answers? He said, people have pushed you around. I'm here to push back. What is wrong with that message? <laughs> are you kidding me? No. <laughs> no. I mean, so here's the problem. Every time you kind of scratch the surface a little bit, and see what Donald Trump's really talking about. Mm -hmm. What he's really talking about is what he's talked about all his life, and that is how to improve the world for Donald Trump. So I heard the part about he talks about taxes, and he's like, our oh, biggest tax cuts, it's right, I'm the only guy who wants to do tax cuts. What he just failed to mention is that Donald Trump would get about a $1.3 million tax cut out of that deal. Mm -hmm. He just takes care of Donald Trump first, last and everything in between. Well, well, That's what he's about. He's, he's paying for his own campaign, though. He should get oh, a little something yeah. back. Get yeah. a little something back. Well, um, uh, he said that the system is rigged. And, and that was kind of Bernie's message, too. The yeah. system is rigged. Yeah. So he, if, if, if they both sort of believe the same thing, if that message is appealing to both of their followers, why don't you think Bernie's followers would go over to Donald Trump? Because, again, you may say scratching an itch, but politics is emotional. And if you can emotionally appeal to those people, why wouldn't they go over there if there's somebody who thinks they can change things? Because what? one thing you'll say about Hillary Clinton, she's a Washington insider. Ah, okay? You, yeah, she so, is. But look. She's lived there since Joshua fit the Battle of Jericho. <laughs> so, look, you, you raised the question about the game being rigged, and the game is rigged. I mean, it, it fundamentally You've is. You've said the same thing yourself that's, many that's times. That's exactly right. Washington works for those who can hire armies of lobbyists, armies of lawyers. It works for billionaires like Donald Trump. For the rest of America, it's not working so well. So one answer, the Democrats' answer, is to say, we've got to use our voices, we've got to use our votes, we've got to take back government and make it work for all of us. That's basically what we think is the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. That sounds a lot like what he said you know, tonight, though. What Donald Trump says is there's a problem out there, and what you have to understand is that it's all about each other. What you need to be afraid of is every other American. I got to tell you, that speech tonight, he sounded like some two bit dictator of some country that you couldn't find on a map. Listen, now, well, I want to well, defend listen. him for a second here. He's not a two-bit dictator. He sounded like a billionaire dictator. Uh, <laughs> Two bits insulting to the he, man. He sounded like a dictator of a small country rather than a man who is running for the highest office of the strongest democracy on the face of this earth. That's what he sounded like. But, yeah, I, no, I, but, I, want, I want to hear more we have to say. We got to go to commercial to serve our corporate overlords, but we'll be right back with more Elizabeth Warren. Stick uh, around.